Hey guys, recently I reached a thousand subs on my channel, and to celebrate, I thought I would show you all how I make my FNF chromatics, because they function a bit differently than your standard ones. Before we begin, this is for FL Studio only. If you use something like Ableton, I can't help you. Yet. If I or another viewer figures out how to do this in another doll, I will update a doc I will be posting in the description. For this tutorial, I'll be making a chromatic for Sonic the Hedgehog. The process of collecting and looping slash lengthening samples is the same up until you need to tune the samples. Instead of creating a pattern of vowel sounds like A, E, I, and looping the pattern over and over and tuning the whole thing, instead duplicate each sample 12 times in a row, making sure to leave enough of a gap between them. Then press Ctrl Alt C to consolidate each one of them into their own audio file. If you've done everything right, you should have one 12 bar long audio file for each of the vowel sounds. Once you have all your samples, click the little waveform on the top left of the file, then select Pitch Correct Sample. This will open New Tone. Then tune the samples from C to B. For male characters, I like to start at C3, although I have had to go as low as C2. And for females, I like to start at C4. If new tone bugs out and the samples sound really, really dissonant, reconsolidate the 12 samples again. Once tuned, press Ctrl plus A to select everything and then drag it out onto the playlist. Then go back into new tone and move the entire thing up an octave. Drag it out, make it an octave higher, and drag it out again. Repeat this for each vowel sound. Now, normalize each sample and start applying some mixing effects, stuff like EQ and compression. If one sample sounds too close to another, apply a former filter to alter the timbre of the sample. Once you're happy with the mixing, reconsolidate them. At this point, you should have one 36 bar long file for each sample. Open them in new instances of Slice X. Then, right click on the slicing icon and select Dull Auto Slicing. Clean it up if necessary. Do this for each sample. Open Patcher. Select one of the syllable templates that I've included in the description below. Next, Alt click on both Patcher and the Slice X instances. Click the drop down on one of the Slice X instances and click and drag on the Save Preset button. Drag it into Patcher. Do this for each Slice X instance. Right click each Slice X in Patcher to disconnect it and then reconnect it to the appropriate node. Rename the Patcher instance and save it as a preset. Next, open a pre existing FNF FLP. In this case, I'm using Euphoria. Replace the opponent with the chromatic we just made. Transpose the MIDI up or down an octave if necessary. Then, select all the notes in the pattern with Ctrl plus A. Alt plus scroll wheel down until the velocity is about 50%. If there's too much lag, zoom in on the MIDI. If you play it now, you should notice that the vowel has changed. Press Alt plus R to open the randomizer. Drag the velocity all the way to the left or the right and accept the changes. If you play it now, it should sound like a normal F and F chromatic. Go back into Patcher and add any more effects you want like reverb, delay, etc. Now, resave the preset. Congratulations, you now have a chromatic where the vowel is not locked to the pitch. You can download templates as well as the chromatic we made today in the description below. Thanks for 1,000 subs and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.